Hello, um, in this tutorial we'll have a look at the finance feature within Rhino. So to access this uh, we click on the menu and we select finance. Um, it'll show us the current financial year but we can also look at previous financial years using these filters. So if we select the current financial year uh, we can see the start and end date, we can see the accounting method, uh, we can see uh, our sales, cash received, expenses and profit and the profit will be calculated based on the accounting method. It will also show us people who owe us money and to help with cash flow it will highlight people who should have paid us by now. To see the detail behind any of this we just click on the show me button. In this example it will show us a detailed list of invoices, um, detailed list of payments and a detailed list of expenses. We'll now look at a number of very simple but powerful integration and reporting options that hang off the finance screen. The first thing we'll look at is the accountant's report and it'll tell you when it was last run, tells you when it's next due um, and what this does is it dumps all of the transactions for a given period of time into a neat spreadsheet. Essentially, it replaces the shoebox and the plastic bag that you normally give to your accountant. The next thing we'll look at is the HMRC the self-assessment link. So to configure it, you just click on it, you input your national insurance number, you click on connect. This will take you to the HMRC login page. Once you log in, uh, their system will ask you to authorize Rhino to be able to update information on your behalf and I would emphasize that's a one-off exercise. Once that's done it's very straightforward to make a submission you just one click and this will display a list of all the submissions th that you've already made and I can see the next submission that I need to make and to make a submission it's two clicks one this will pull through all of the new transactions for this period and then you just click finalize and that's it. So to make a submission and to retrieve a tax calculation should take you less than 10 seconds. I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.